She don't want that smoke. She don't want that smoke. Miss Thing with the two she don't know how to read, honey. Then she just don't know how to read. Girl. So I want to read you guys, you know, some of the messages that I get during the day from the trade. And this one portray trade in particular that, you know, he went from laying in that house to sending me emails and now I haven't heard from him. When I catch you, bitch, when I fucking catch you, okay, don't play with me. When you see this, I'm not playing with you. I give you a message all the time, like QNO, QNON, or whatever that shit is that I was watching the other day with the Trump administration and secret societies and all that sending the secret messages, bitch. This is my encrypted message to you, okay? Don't fucking play with me. Okay, Con. But um, I just want to read you guys some of the things that the trade does to the gays that, you know, you bitches are oblivious to and don't really understand what's going on. Because you feel like your baby fathers, your cousins and uncles and brothers and all that stuff are not gay. And they're, fucking, they're all fucking each other. Everybody's fucking each other. I need you to know, everybody's fucking each other. 10 out of 10, you've come, your man has come home. 10 out of 10, your man has come home with fecal matter on his penis. And I'm sure that you sucked it. You fucked it. He stuck it in your pussy. Didn't care. Gave a wipe. A wipe. Your pH balance off. You got a rash. You got a... Like, these niggas is nasty. I'm telling you, these niggas is nasty, okay? They nasty to the point where I had two of them the other day. Didn't know each other from a hole in the wall. And then they ended up with it both. Both they birds in my mouth. And I'm like, y'all don't know each other from a hole in the wall. Y'all okay? Shoulder to shoulder. It was holding the shoulders like... <laughs> Y'all been just be thinking I played about this shit, but I'm really not fucking <laughs> All right, so here you go by Trey Chronicles. This is the messages and the text messages that the trade sent me on a daily basis. I'm going to read three of them to you. Here you go. You ready? You. Okay, so I'm in need of an almighty mouth to fuck and a, a mighty throat to swallow my dick while I'm coming. He put... I said, excuse me, what are you talking about? He said to me, you like come down your throat or you like to jerk that nut out of it. Be honest. I just want your throat to make me beg you to stop swallowing my come down your throat. <laughs> I'll take $40. <laughs> and that's my message from the trade for the day. Okay. You know, it's so hard for me to go on like gay apps yeah, I used to sit with my with my ex boyfriend, and he used to think like I'm on apps and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I used to sit there like you don't understand that when I'm really laying here with you, like I'm really dedicated to you. Like I were really, really dub people. Like you know that was you know if it, it, it was a cute coin calling, you know maybe I give a little meet up somewhere, you know, a cute coin, a little a couple of hours because it's a coin that's coming through, you know. But I was really satisfied with him and loved him and, you know, appreciated him, us being together. You know, he always just, like, had this thing about me, like, cheating. But I guess that comes from the narrative that I said and what I did in the past. That kind of, like, always, you know, that was the story, whatever. But it's nothing on gay apps, a la Jack, a la Grinder, for a fat bitch. And it's like, I think people think, like, because even like the bears and the chubs and you know like are like picky in particular and it's like bitch I'm saying here with full cakes tatty cakes titties all that kind of shit but it's like I don't even have to do that shit you know what I'm saying like I don't I never seen my trade before that nigga came to my house one day and never left you know that's what kind of pussy this is bus c puss puss c whatever the fuck you want to call it so all you motherfuckers that still like no facts, no fems, y'all need to go get your own motherfucking apps. Since there's so many motherfuckers out here chasing and so many masculine men that want you girls, no facts, no fems, you're not into trans and all this kind of shit going on. The girls are doing good and better than you. Because I'm fine. No facts, no fems, I'm fine. I'm doing a lot. So, my thing is, I'm going to pat the hair like I got a long week. Um, shout out to, you know, all of the women who don't treat their men toxic -y. Because women can be toxic, too. So, I was just so happy to be standing outside of Party City, where I got my lovely pretty balloons, because I have on all the prints. And I walked in there for no reason. I walked in there for no reason, and I just walked and was like, 
you know, I wanted a certain balloon and they didn't have it. And then I went to the thing in the front. And here, here's the print I got on the leopard. It just went with my outfit. People were like, oh my God, that's a that's a wonderful combination that you picked in line and everything. But shout out to the women that don't force or make their men feel like they're doing gay shit. You know, like the women that, um, this is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I guess I'm trying to say. So I was coming out of, uh... Party City. I stood in Party City and I think I was checking to see what time the bus was coming to go where I was coming to come film tonight. And this girl, you know, she was like a fupa, fupa big belly, Puerto Rican bitch. You know, the fat Puerto Rican bitches. Fupa, fupa belly bitch. You know, the big, the big Puerto Rican girls. Fupa belly, big Puerto Rican girls or whatever. You know what I mean? Thick, nerdy glasses. Walk up with the baby, him and her. And he was carrying her back. And it seemed like when it, she got to me, I guess... I don't think that he had a problem with carrying her bag or that he was thinking about anything about carrying her bag. But I just overheard her saying like, oh, why you don't want to carry the bag? Because people are going to think you gay. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sitting out here single without a man. <laughs> like, and this bitch is able to fucking like walk down the street and say some stupid shit like that. I'm like, it's a lot of things that I feel like women don't understand that they are responsible for. Or the narrative of the tone that they set for what men do with their sexuality. And this is why there is this big uh, down low culture that they think that's going on. And I don't really think that it's a down low culture. I just think that it's like you don't accept certain things from a masculine man. And it's a lot of masculine men out here down with a lot of feminine shit. Once I came home and my trade was is the trade, the trade are hierarchy, bitch. It is no coming away from him. I've seen this motherfucker do the most tradiest shit in the world. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I came home and this motherfucker had on my choker. A choker. A Princess Diana Royals. Princess Margaret and everybody. Kate and Megan. Everybody had on my fucking teardrop. Princess Diana Two top dress number off the back. Coming out with the scarf. Necklace on. And like this shit is sexy. And this bitch is yelling out about him. About him being a gentleman. You know I need women to. To. Uh, to uh, know the difference. You know. Some men do have feminine qualities though. That doesn't make them homos. Like I need y'all to understand that. A lot of men have feminine qualities because they were raised by women. And only women. And you're lucky that they're still like, ah, like niggas, you know? Like, they're still like, ah, you know? Tough as Tupperware. But the things that they do behind you, because you're saying holding a purse, you know? And that's why things, holding a purse, oh, because they're going to think you're gay, you know? That's why a lot of shit like chivalry is fucking dead. That's why these motherfuckers treat you like monsters. And then you're sitting at home like, why do they treat us that way? Or why he got seven other bitches? Or why he was, oh, I call him fucking around with a, with the T-girls? Or, you know, like, you know, it's just so much other shit. It's because you have to make them feel like they have to uh, 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 all the time. You know? Let that man be a man sometimes, bitch. Let him just settle and be himself, bitch. Everything these motherfuckers do is not gay. Everything ain't gay, cunt. You don't even know what gay is. Gay is running around circles. And like I said, on the last motherfucking clip. I'm sure you bitches done sucked on some dick with some fecal matter on it, okay? <laughs> and that's that on that kind. <laughs>